Hey guys, MCU Collector here with another figure review. Next up is the Hasbro Marvel Legends series MCU Disney Plus Wave 5 Hydra Stomper. Build a figure here from WandaVision. We have finally an Agatha Harkness figure. This figure though, let's be honest, is a little bit of a brick. Is it bad? No, I wouldn't even call it bad. Is it great? No. But um, it's definitely good to have an Agatha Harkness figure. Now, I know the digital renders and then the first um, original promo pics, everyone was like, God, look at that, uh, the, the Catherine Hahn face. What do they do? Uh, it's pretty good actually having it in hand. Should she have been smiling? I don't know. It's debatable, but that's pretty good. Uh, the figure has some crazy things going on for it, but it is a little bit of a brick because this dress thing that she has is just all like massive rubber. Um, so you're not going to get a whole lot of articulation out of the legs and stuff. But it is, again, a, a pretty good looking figure that I am happy to have. And then when you pair it up with, with you know, the Scarlet Witch, uh, it's pretty good. You know, I, I can't really complain there. So I'm pretty happy with it. We'll probably get another Agatha Harkness figure when the... Uh, when her show comes out, the Agatha Coven of Co Harkness Coven, what it was it called? It went through a name change. Coven of Chaos, I think it is, right? Agatha Coven of Chaos, or something like that. Um, so we'll see. Anyway, looking at the package, here we are on Agatha Harkness. We still have Goliath to take a look at, and then Yelena um, here at the back of the package. Look at that. The interesting about this uh, package is we don't get like any kind of promo art or anything like that. It's actually just like an actual screen grab of Agatha from the show. Now, one thing that's lacking is the artwork that they use. It shows her using some magic, like some purple magic out of her hands. We didn't get any effect pieces or anything. She doesn't come with any accessories. There's a whole lot of plastic going on here. So, I mean, I kind of get it, but it sucks, right? So, um, like even the, the stupid like fire like magic effects that we get with every figure, um, so many figures, would have been cool to have. You know, we have them in red. We have them in orange. We don't have, like, this purple color. Purple would have been cool to get. Anyway, we didn't get it. Um, uh, so, there's that. Um, I got mine from ToySnowman.com. Unfortunately, she is sold out at ToySnowman.com right now. But I have a link in the video description below. So, you can check them out for all your other action figure needs. Or if you're looking for other figures in this wave. Um, it's my referral link. So, if you use that link, first-time buyers will get a 5% off coupon code in the Frost Rewards. Toy Snowman is great for all your action figure needs. They're based in Canada, but shipped to the U.S. So, if you're looking for whatever Hasbro action figure line, you can go there. But they got McFarland Toys, DC Multiverse, uh, Joy Toy, Warhammer. They've got Mezco. They've got figure arts. They've got all those things. Um, so, you guys could check them out. So, link in the video description below. Um, but anyway... Uh, Agatha, no accessories for her, but she comes with the jetpack for the Hydra Stomper. Uh, so as you can see there, we get this nice deep, like, metallic red that's painted on there. So I kind of like that. Drop her down. Um, and she has the two head sculpts for the Hydra Stomper. So we get the, uh, helmeted head sculpt here. And that looks pretty good. I like the gunmetal color. Um, and then, oh, it looks like the faceplate could have opened up, but it doesn't. Because it's just, wait, does it? No. I don't know why. They did two separate pieces. It does not open up. Um, and then we get this animated puny Steve Rogers head sculpt. So, you know, that looks pretty good. There. So now we got Agatha. Let's go ahead and take a closer look. Okay, so here is the closer look at the Katherine Hahn Agatha Harkness head sculpt. And I think the likeness is pretty good. The face doesn't look super goofy or anything like that, like people were saying. It came out pretty good. It's debatable... You know, obviously people are going to have their opinions on how the head sculpt should look. Like, should she be smiling? Ah, probably not. Uh, but I don't think it's a bad head sculpt, if that makes sense. She's got a ton of hair. I mean, that is a lot of hair going on. Like, this thing has so much plastic going on for it. It's pretty crazy. But anyway, looking at the hands, her fingertips are black in color as she uses, like, the magic because of the, uh, 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 uh. Damn, what the hell is the thing called? The, um... The Darkhold book, <laughs> excuse me. Um, she should have come with the Darkhold too, but I know that the Scarlet Witch Target exclusive uh, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness figure will come with the Darkhold book. Um, but Agatha Harkness could have come with it too. Like, why not have it released with two figures? You know, not everyone's going to be able to get that Scarlet Witch. Every, you know, some people are going to be happy with this Scarlet Witch, and this is a pretty good one. That one's going to be a little bit. 
I, I wouldn't even call it better, except it has double jointed elbows, so yeah, I guess it would be better. Uh, but you know, more more dark hold books, that, you know, it's all good. But anyway, yeah, so that's why her fingertips are black there. She has single jointed elbows because she's got these big ass like sleeves that like dingle down and stuff. Um, she's got the brooch on there. We get some sculpted detail in the dress, which is pretty nice. Um, but you know, we got this big ass skirt piece. Um, and as you can see under there, she just has uh, plain black legs. They are, um, I, I think, the old female legs because there are pins in there. Um, are they a little gummy? Uh, maybe, yeah, a little bit. She's got the, the she's got the worst feet ever because she's got the heels. Um, but the good thing is she's got this big ass like rubber like dress, so you know she's got a lot of things to lean on to keep her standing up. So like it's like not an issue at all going there so it's pretty cool um and one thing that i'm just now noticing as we're looking some of the light that's shining off i was thinking that was like glare and things like that that's actually like a metallic turquoise paint that's actually added on there to kind of give it some of like some shine and some of a sheen in there so that's pretty cool so we get it right here and then up here and then here in her torso midsection so that's pretty cool um she's got like this scarf like thing or, or whatever this would be called it's done in a translucent purple color and it's pretty cool it like wraps around over her shoulders here and goes all the way down to the floor you can see the, the details and the wrinkles and things like that and then just how it flows in the back it's pretty heavy it's it's it should add a lot of weight to make her tilt back but thankfully it doesn't because i think the dress again helps support uh the figure but i like the translucent purple it's 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 actually pretty nice um, so you can see how it flows there. You can see on the back how the back dress, this is like a super old fashioned dress, right? Like she's like super old. Um, so I guess that kind of makes sense there. Uh, but yeah, she has a ball joint at the waist. So I am curious of what figure this is. Like the legs could just be the, 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 you know, the old comic female legs. Um, but the, the hip part would have to be different because, the legs could be used, but the hip part is different because we have a ball joint waist on a female figure, which I don't think we get ever. I don't know. I can't think of a figure that does use a ball jointed waist, but it makes sense based on the torso, the design, that that's how they would go. So, you know, it's got to be a new hip piece, I would say. Uh, but yeah, there she is. So let's go ahead and zoom back out and take a look at her articulation, which is, again, very limited. We'll, we'll go through that pretty quick. Okay, so Agatha can't look up because she's got long ass hair, so it's not really going to happen. Her head is on a disc hinge, but she can't look down that much because her hair flows in the front as well. So that's going to kind of stop her from looking down. Can you turn it to the side? Yes, but you got to work that hair over like the, the, these, uh, the scarf thing. Does this just sit on? Hold on. Now I'm discovering this as we go in through the article. Oh, that just sits on there. It's not even glued or pegged or anything on there. Oh, let's take a look. Uh, okay, let's let's see how she can move around without that big ass scarf, you know, thing going on there. Um, so here she is in the dress, and you know that that works pretty good. Does she stand up as easily? No, actually, surprisingly, that thing helped balance her. That's crazy. Ah, okay, so she still can stand, so that's nice. You know what, I just noticed this as well. Some of that um, metallic paint that I was talking about on the dress, we actually get it on the sleeves as well. So take a look there and there. So that is a nice touch. Uh, so back to the articulation. So we looked at her head, not a whole lot of movement there. The shoulder can go out and up quite a bit. You can do a full rotation in there, just mind her hair. You gotta have to kind of work it around. She has a single jointed elbow with a swivel at the elbow. So she can bend just under 90 degrees um, at her elbow. Uh, their wrists swivel and they do hinge, standard horizontal hinge on both of the hands. Uh, we get the ball joint at the waist so she can tilt to her left that much. She can tilt to her right. Uh, I feel like that's not a whole lot. She can tilt to her right that much. She can go back uh, very, very little. She can come forward very, very little. Uh, swivel there. Um, so yeah, a little bit, but still pretty lacking in terms of the articulation. Now, uh, the legs, uh, we have a thigh swivel in there. We have a double jointed pinned knee. We have ankles that hinge all the way down. You have the feet that are on the heeled shoes so you can hinge up, hinge down. Um, but there's no point in bending her legs because what's that going to do in this massive skirt piece? It's, there's just, 
it doesn't work. It doesn't do anything. It's not going to be useful. Uh, nothing like that. So, um, yeah, not a whole lot. And here is uh, Agatha Harkness with Wanda Maximoff, uh, the Scarlet Witch. Um, and this is pretty cool to kind of recreate that final scene in WandaVision where they're talking about it and... Uh, Agatha Harkness drops the truth bombs and says, you're the Scarlet Witch, you're you're doing chaos magic, all, all this and that. So it's cool that we're getting more characters. We have four characters now total for WandaVision. We've got Jimmy Woo, Agent Jimmy Woo, we'll stick him there, and then we got White Vision. Um, it would have been cool to get a, uh, uh, like, I would even take a re-release of Vision, an updated body would be cool. Uh, but I would take an updated Vision with the regular colors because he played a big part in that. Um, it would be cool to get that because that figure, you know, it had two releases. Um, you know, the Target, not Target, but Toys R Us exclusive with uh, uh, Scarlet Witch from Infinity War. And then we had one in, um, was it the Bro Thor wave? I think it may, may have been the Bro Thor wave. Um, so it would be cool to get another one to kind of go along with WandaVision. At one time, I used to get multiples of figures if there were multiple shows or movies. But then it just got space constraint-wise. I'm like, ah. And then cost, you know, adding another figure. So I didn't do it. But, you know, I kind of wish I would have kept an extra one just to have Vision, uh, regular Vision for WandaVision. But, yeah. There we have the four figures. Um, I would love to get a Monica Rambeau from the show. I don't think that's going to happen. We at least got the Photon figure or Captain Rambo, as she's going to be referred to in the movie. Um, but it would still be nice to get it. But how about the twins would be cool? Halloween costumes? What about like a Comic-Con exclusive four-pack of Wanda, Vision, and the twins in, in the Halloween costumes? Or even do a five-pack and do the um, Boner. What was his name? Something Boner. Um... And do like uh, that Quicksilver version. That would be pretty cool. I doubt we see anything like that. But how awesome would that be? I think it'd be cool. Okay, so here is our Disney Plus Wave 5 so far that I have reviewed. I took a look at War uh, Warrior Gamora first. Then we moved on into Talos. And then Nick Fury and now Agatha Harkness. Um, pretty, pretty decent wave. Again, I like the representation of these MCU characters in figure form. So I'm happy we're getting them. Although late, because WandaVision was the very first show. So we're two and a half years removed from that or whatever, however long it's been. Um, but hey, we got her. I know when the show happened, people wanted her. We weren't getting her. We finally have her. And you know what? I'm happy with it. You guys let me know down in the comments below. What do you think of this Agatha Harkness figure? What do you think of that head sculpt? Again, I think it's pretty good. What do you guys think of these figures so far? Let me know in the comments below. If you guys like this video, please do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. If you're interested in supporting the channel, hit that join button to become a channel member. Be a part of the MCU Collective. And as always, thank you for watching.